Hey guys. So I made a post about an hour ago. That would be live. Because <laughs> I want to tell you about yesterday. Yesterday was crazy. Like in every sense. Um, I was just. I don't know, I even know the right word for it. It was adrenaline. That's what, that's all I'm going to say. Um, <laughs> so I was asked um, by pharmacy, hey, if you're just popping on, say hello uh, and tell me where you're watching from. So I was asked by pharmacy to uh, come on as a leader uh, for the company to do a interview slash um, I should have put do not disturb on my phone an interview slash training uh, for over 20,000 people and be interviewed by the CEO owner of pharmacy and USA's national uh, sales manager. So that in it, in of itself is enough journaling. So I had that <clears throat> scheduled for the last day of the month. And if you guys know anything about direct sales or you're in this industry, you know, the last day of the month is usually crazy. And it's been crazy in the past, yeah, but yesterday was on a whole other level. And I don't know if it was all the other things that happened or the fact that we almost doubled what we did the previous month. I don't know. <laughs> so, April, okay, so we were in the middle of a pandemic, right? Last month. April, we still are like this world's crazy and you think like things are gonna fall apart I was totally expecting you know things to pull back and numbers to go down a little bit I mean the world has gone nuts right and it was quite the opposite quite the opposite um, we flew past a half a million dollars in sales in one month within 30 days, uh, 500 and last time I looked last night was close to $530,000 sold in 30 days and close to 500 people joined the team just last month. I'm like what? <laughs> that was just insane. Uh, my goal last month for my team was 400,000. I was like, we can, we can do 400,000. Never ever did I think 500,000. And then to go on right past that, it was just so much adrenaline yesterday. I think yesterday we sold 30, 40,000 just, just yesterday. Uh, and so the adrenaline from the team, <laughs> okay, like every time I logged into my back office, I was just like, it's hard for me to even get the words out to you guys. <laughs> it was incredible, incredible. And so yesterday I did the interview for pharmacy at three o'clock that was scheduled for three o'clock. That in and of itself was adrenaline rush, right? <laughs> You're being interviewed by the owner of pharmacy uh, in front of over 20,000 people on the last day of the month when you're already checking your back office like crazy. So not only that, I did the interview at three o'clock. It lasted about an hour. Ended up going really, really, really well, like fantastic. And hey guys, are you just popping on? Thank you. And um, <clears throat> after the interview was over, I'm like, you guys know like when you have an inter and adrenaline rush and you're, it takes your body a while to calm down, right? Like at least an hour to calm down. Like I got off the interview, my, I had a sweater on. I was like, that was my first mistake. I shouldn't wear a sweater. And then I had a tank top under that and it was like completely soaked. And I was like, okay, 
My arms were like burning. I'm gonna need my body to calm down. But then I was like, I gotta run to the store really quick. So I leave my house a mile from my house. There's sirens behind the car. <laughs> and it was just me and Sophie and I'm like, I haven't been pulled over and I don't even know how long. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. Like, no matter what, like, no matter what you're doing, when you see those sirens behind you, immediately you're like, I'm going to jail. <laughs> right? Like, that's just a thought that goes to your, to your mind. Um, even if you, you're not doing anything, you, just, you see the sirens and Sophie... It's like not helping the situation. I pull over and she's like, oh my gosh, you're going to be arrested? I'm like, Sophie, I'm not going to be arrested. I didn't do anything. Like, obviously I was going seven miles over the speed limit because that's why he pulled me over. Okay. But Sophie's like, my adrenaline, my adrenaline's already high from the interview. I'm not even calmed down from that. Get in my car and take off. There's sirens going on. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I pull over. He comes up. Luckily, he was like the nicest uh, policeman ever. He was really, really, really nice. <laughs> and so he takes all my information. He takes all my information and he goes back to his car while he's sitting in his car. So he's like, oh my gosh, why is he taking so long? And like going through my head, I'm like, oh my gosh, maybe I have like an arrest warrant. Like, what am I talking about? Like, I've never done anything like in my life. <laughs> like, what? But in my head, I'm like, oh my gosh, why is he taking long? Like, Sophie's freaking me out. I'm like, I'm going to be hauled away in handcuffs. <laughs> Sophie's like, oh my gosh, what if you get arrested? Like, what am I going to do? I'm like, Sophie, what? I stop. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> but she has me freaked out. So I finally cop comes back. He's like, I'm not going to give you a ticket. Um, and I was like, oh, thank you, Jesus. Like, okay, didn't get a ticket. Finished up that deal. Went and did my errand. Um and came back and guys we were on so that got my adrenaline back up we were on the verge yesterday i made a post about it of a huge promotion okay an insane promotion that wasn't really on my radar like when i came to pharmacy i was like uh that that wasn't even a thought like I wanted to be platinum and I know like if you're not in my company you're like what is all this like platinum emerald and all this um they're really big ranks and I was like platinum was my big goal and I hit platinum uh, a few months back and I, we have been maintaining a, as a platinum director team at pharmacy every month we maintain and last month I was looking at my numbers and you know some of the girls in my front line and I'm like we we got it we got it in us we got it in us and you need a certain amount of leaders on your front line to hit this emerald rank and you needed eight i had seven and my eighth was five hundred and sixty seven dollars away yesterday evening when i got back from the cops <laughs> So I'm like, my adrenaline's back up. I'm like, oh my gosh. And you know what? Like, you can stress and it's so easy to tell people like, leave it up to God. Like, it's all in his timing and his hands and that's what I preach. When it comes down to it, like, it's hard to go against your body's natural reactions to things. So I just, I took a bath at 1030 last night and I was like, you know what? Like, whatever happens happens like calm down you know if we maintain platinum we still doubled our team sales if we still maintain platinum like we are miles ahead where we were just last month the growth is phenomenal i was like what am i like why am i even stressing so i was like you know what if this is not your timing right i was talking to god in the bathtub <laughs> like it was, if this is not your timing it's fine it's fine. This is not what's going to happen. This is not what you have planned for me at this particular time. Even though I want it so bad, it's not your plan. Um, but I also <laughs> said, I was like, if it is your will and your plan, like it, it'll happen. Like it will just seamlessly happen. And this, this girl hustled. Like we put in a lot of work. We didn't just 
throw our hands back and be like, God, you know, wave your, wave your wand and whatever is meant to be is meant to be. We worked really hard for this. We did all that we physically could do and I left it up to God. I'm like, if this is meant to be, it's going to happen. And, um, so cut off for the month is at midnight, uh, Eastern Standard Time. She's actually on Central Time, my one director that was going for her rank. And 11.45, she hit it. 11.45, she hit it. I'm like, if that ain't a miracle, if that ain't God telling me this is your time, this is the right time, this is your direction, this is what you're supposed to be doing, where you're supposed to be going. And I give him all the praise. Like all of these ranks and promotions and money and income and everything is great, but it's all because of him. Like this platform is because of God. Like I give all the glory to him. Um, and, and you know, I pray for him to move through me, even when I'm speaking to you guys to give me the right words. Um, even in my interview yesterday, like I can't get through daily life without him. Um, so last night and after such an adrenaline filled day, I'm like, okay, we just hit the rank and it like hasn't even sunk in yet. Like I had a massive interview with the owner of pharmacy, 20,000 people pulled over by the police, thought I was getting arrested. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> hit this huge rank that only a handful of people at pharmacy hold this rank. It's huge. It's a really big deal. And it's a really big deal uh, for my family and for my team to be able to hold that title. It's a big deal. And something else that's a big deal is all of the ladies coming up on my team, leaders that are rising up on Team Rise, that's what this is all about. That's why I left my last company. That's why I chose pharmacy because of a team. Because of a team. You can't get anywhere by yourself, especially in this industry, especially if you have massive goals like I have. You can't get anywhere alone. I left my last company because of my team. I came here because of my future team, a team I didn't even have yet. But when I was looking for somewhere to go, I was like, okay, it has to check these boxes that I know as a, as a team leader, bringing on new people that they can duplicate and they can actually be successful. Because this can't be a place that just top leaders make it. And my post earlier, you know, I tell people if you're stuck at a company right now and you're feeling blah or down or, you know, your paycheck's stagnant, staying the same or going down, and even if you're not at another company, if you're just hopeless right now and you're looking for something, do your research. Okay, you need to ask questions. And that's why I told people, don't just look at my numbers as a top leader because it's easy for top leaders to say, you know, hey, 500 people joined the team last month, uh, which is true, We and we blew past half a million dollars in sales, which is true, okay? Yes, that's important, but what's also important is to see the team stats. How is your team doing? And I guarantee you, if you, dive a little deeper and you ask other leaders that, I don't really know what you're gonna find. I have the stats here. The proof is in the numbers. And new beauty influencers are seeing success, are ranking up like that. I couldn't even keep up with it last month. Like, uh, one of my leaders hit platinum director and I was like, what? Like, I thought you were at, at gold. I thought she was like two, or silver, like two below that. I'm like, you're at platinum. Like, I can't even keep up. Uh, a new beauty influencer that joined me two months ago hit director. And I'm like, that is what it's all about. New people coming on and being able to do this, to do this because so many, I know there's somebody watching this right now and you're like, I can't do this. I'm not good at sales. I'm not this, blah, 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 blah. 
Quit letting your excuses hold you back. We all know I'm not a professional makeup artist. <laughs> Newsflash. Okay, I'm not a esthetician. I'm not some kind of professional whatever. <laughs> I'm not. I, I was just a mom and a wife that wanted something more and I showed up every single day with energy and passion and I was consistent. If you have those things within you, you can be so successful, so successful. And I was trading where I was, okay, nine months ago, I was trading my time. I was pouring so much of my time and energy and literally getting peanuts for it. This is a business. Okay, I feel like so many people get caught up in their emotions and the sisterhood. Yes, making friends and having that sisterhood is a good thing, but it's, it's a business. This is a business. And if you are trading your time, like I am not hanging out with my family right now. I'm hanging out with you guys. I'm doing this video. I'm trading my time. Okay, I work really hard on my business. I worked really hard on my last business with my last company, and I did not see the fruits of my labor within my income. So you gotta think about that. You need to start asking questions. You need to start researching. You need to follow your intuition because it is always right. It's always right. You're trading your time for what? I want to be paid for the amount of time. And this is what I said to the owner of pharmacy yesterday during my interview. I am actually being paid. I feel like people say this and get thrown, thrown around a lot. Uh, you want to be paid your worth. I want to be paid what I believe my time and energy is worth. And it is like when I get... <laughs> paid I'm like wow I don't know what other word to describe it I was very 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 well compensated for the time and energy that I put into my business away from my family and that's the way that you need to start looking at this as a business most of us, okay, not all of us, but most of us are here to earn an income. So you need to turn this on up here and get right with where you're going. That's it, guys. I, I wanted to come on here, share with you a little bit about my day yesterday. It was crazy. I didn't go to jail, so that's a good thing. <laughs> but uh, it was just a phenomenal day. And I, I feel like it's so important to share. And you know what? I was going to come live today, even if we didn't hit that promotion. Because I feel like it's really important for me to share my entire story, not just the highs. Uh, this is a very big high, yes, um, but yesterday I was like, you know what, if we don't hit that promotion, I'm still going to go live tomorrow and I'm going to talk about, um, I already had it planned out, I'm going to talk about not reaching that goal and pivoting and keep going uh, because goals, this is a whole other topic, I actually did a training for my team on this, um, for my leaders, goals were not made to be met. They weren't. You should be making goals that scare the crap out of you. Okay, that's a whole other video in and of itself. Uh, but just write that down. Goals were not made to be met. We met this one. And congratulations to Team Rise. Congratulations, team. Like, you guys are phenomenal. I know there's some of you on here right now. You're phenomenal. Uh, and this is not a one-man show. This is uh, the most incredible place that I've ever been a part of. Like, it is such a positive, inspiring, motivating place to be. And that's something else. If, if you are feeling stuck or down um, or not where you want to be, you have got to surround yourself with people that are going places. 
You have to surround yourself with people that are going places. That is, if you don't take anything else away from this video, surround yourself with people that are going places. People that are five steps ahead of you. That's who you need to be hanging out with, okay? Even if it's not physically, okay? On social media, you need to be surrounding yourself with those people. So I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Thank you all so much just to my network for the support. Um, just liking and commenting and sharing and cheering like me on and my team on. Even if you don't have a, a part in it, you just doing that, that plays a part um, in this. So I just wanted to come on here and just say thank you to my network, um, my team. I'm so blessed. And God, like this is all, this is totally, there's no other explanation. This is totally all because of him. Um, and I'm super excited. Team Rise is officially an Emerald Director team. Huge. So that's it, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.